Hey guys, what's going on? It's been a very long time, my diecast friends. We're gonna do a little video here today of my recent finds. Not sure what to title this yet, but we're gonna start with some basic cars, I guess. Um, here's these two that I found at Target. They are the McLaren P1 red editions. I always pick up a, I don't care if they're main lines or what, but the McLarens I always get. There's that. Another thing I like to collect, and I don't know why, is these right here. The ones with the little question mark, I guess a scavenger hunt. And Here's what that says right there. So, yeah. Not really sure why. Not like a huge fan of cars, like the movie, but I do collect them. Must be the kid inside me. So there's that. I finally found these. And pretty much everything I find uh, and that's on this video is going to go on eBay because I do want to get a more up-to-date laptop so I can do some uh, GoPro editing and better quality videos for you guys and I can't do that on my regular laptop because it doesn't support my GoPro um, oh yeah those trucks I got a regular one right here I took it out does not focus. Interesting. Okay. But it is really cool. Nice little display box somewhere. That'd be kind of cool. So we were taking a road trip um, to Las Vegas, Nevada. And we stopped at a gas station. And I found this green machine i know it's really hard to tell but literally it is a green machine there's no green on the bottom just the wheels are barely half muddy and half green tricky tricky and i did verify it was a green machine i checked one of my local or not local one of my facebook groups for diecast and they said sure enough it is and there was another one just like this but the tires didn't have green they were all just like tan like mud um, so that's that and in Vegas I went to the toy shack and I got this guy so why not get it signed by the toy expert at the toy shack I got a picture of him that guy was pretty cool um, I kind of think it's a little overpriced for what I paid. I'm not going to say how much I paid for it, but i seen them online for almost half the price for what I bought. But other than that, it's a cool car, cool truck. Now we're going to go on to another chase that I found. Got the Michelin box truck here. Box band is what they call it. So this will also be on eBay soon um, to help me get that laptop. But if anybody wants to help out somehow, maybe PayPal or something, let me know on the comments. Maybe we can work something out. I've been doing a lot of fish videos lately. So here's another chase that we found. Yeah, I've been finding chases left and right recently. Um, I'm going to go to my local Walmart again because uh, they're kind of starting to restock. Look at this thing, Mustang. I really wanted the, uh, what is it, the Super B? Or the, no, the Daytona, I think it was. I don't know, that's raw. But I got this guy. So this guy will be going on eBay as well to help me get my laptop. There it is, 750 pieces worldwide. Pretty cool little car. Just not my cup of tea. It's a Ford. Anyways, all right, so. I was at the local Walmart here in my hometown with my girlfriend and 
I thought it was kind of odd that there was nothing out on the shelves, and I found this. Literally, this is all I found. And there was another, like, old Coca-Cola um, hauler. So I bought this. This one's not going to go on eBay because of that rip. That's no good. So I'm probably just going to display it. Take it out, display it, I guess. I don't know. Maybe someone wants to buy it the way it is. Um, yeah. So at the same Walmart, at the same time I was there when I picked this up, I was like, man, they didn't put anything out. If they did, I missed it, whatever. But that wasn't the case. My girlfriend said, hey, um, do these have red tires like this all the time? And I was like, what are you talking about? And this is what she had. So she found the chase without even trying. And it was sitting over by, um, so it was in the random spot. Like someone picked it up, kids, I don't know, some, maybe they didn't know what they were looking for, what. There was this, the one that I just showed you, the regular, and there was an older Coca-Cola Cola, uh, hauler there. So we got this one. This one's gonna unfortunately have to go on eBay. Just because I want to get that laptop, and that's what's going to help me with all these uh, purchases, I guess, that I made. Spend money and make money, I guess. Um, there is one last car that I want to show you guys, and this actually is already on eBay. Um, I found it over a week ago, right before I went to Vegas last weekend. And, has one day left. I put it online for 155 auction and I have less than 24 hours before it expires or whatever and not one bid but there's a lot of watchers and a lot of watchers so we'll see what happens hopefully it doesn't sell at 155 because I've seen them sold for a little bit more than that and here it is This is probably my third or fourth raw I've ever found out in the wild. I know people say, oh, I've never found even a regular chase and I've been collecting for a few years. Well, let me give you guys some advice. You gotta go every day, all day long, every chance you get. And that's how I find my stuff. And I started collecting in 2015. And if you guys check out my videos on how I got into uh, Hot Wheels and collecting diecast, you'll see it there. Um, but yeah, all this is going, this is probably, I don't know if it's going on eBay or not. I'm still not sure because he did sign it and there are limited to 1248 and so far I only know that one of these is signed. So, on that note, I actually was going to start opening all these up and kind of display them at my house, but I have so many damn cars, already chases, that I can't even, I took them all down because I can't just, it looks techy. So I got to get a basement or something and have like a guy's room and have some glass shelving or something. So it looks cool, but otherwise than that, they're stored away in a box 